Oh, so I wanted to to share this with you um, because I felt like if I didn't, I was cheating you. Um, and I don't want to leave anybody behind. So I'm, I'm using the leftover dough and everything that I had um, prior. So I have the ricotta, the mozzarella, and the flour and everything left over from yesterday. Someone asked me if um, I can use the leftover oil that you fry with. No, <clears throat> you can't do that. Um, it, it, goes, it goes bad. So if you see on here, this is my pizza, uh, uh, pizza plate. And um, anyway, uh, I brought it in from outside. It's cold. It's not hot at all. But I had to do this to show you how to make um, the pizza in a pizza oven. So you want to bake your pie at 450. Make sure that oven is hot. And um, so this is hot. But again, this is cold for me because mine's outside. And I need to show you. So I used a little cornmeal. <clears throat> I used a little cornmeal on here. So it doesn't stick when we, we get it in the oven. So remember, mine's outside, so it's different in temperature. So remember all the dough that I had. Um, my son said, Mom, you need to show everybody your your white pie and your, your uh, uh, buffalo chicken wing pie. It's the uh, barbecue chicken pie. So we felt like we needed to have you in this so you, you knew. <laughs> Nothing in the house goes to waste. So everything that I had made, if there's leftover, I'm going to use it in something else. So this is what I'm making for lunch today. And if there's any leftovers, you could have it for a snack later or keep it in the refrigerator for tomorrow. Baked pizza is way different than fried. So you can, you know, keep your baked pizza up for, what, three days? If it even lasts that long, but... Fried pizza is totally different. It, uh, it, it, it gets real funny, you know, more than two, three hours. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on the oil. So you could use corn oil. I use corn oil because it's um, healthier for you than, than vegetable oil is what I was told. And corn oil is um, just better. And olive oil is too expensive to be frying, you know, that much oil. So, uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do is just roll this out as best that I can. And you just want to stretch it out a little bit. Just go around the edges a little bit. I'm going to lay that right on here. So depending on how much dough that you're using, okay? So I'm gonna make a white pie first so you guys see. It doesn't have to be perfectly rounded. This is just for home. I don't have a restaurant, it's just for home. So on a white pie, you don't put any sauce down. You just use your ricotta, okay? Stretch that out a little bit. So what's in the ricotta is fresh parsley, parsley salt, and uh, one egg. That's it. But this is the leftover ricotta I have from the calzone. So at this point, I can take my frozen spinach and sprinkle some in there if I'd like. Stretch that out a little bit. You could do so much with homemade dough and gosh, and it's always a family pleaser because it's, it's cheap and you could do it together with your family. So that's about all I'm going to use. I'm going to use half of this because I'm going to make my other pie too. So you want to load that down. If you, hear, if you hear snorting, it's my um, dog. Try not to leave a lot of cheese on the um, pan because it burns, burns bad on there. So 
So I'm going to give this to Frankie, and he's going to put it out there outside for me. So this is going to be a real cheesy, um, very high-calorie <laughs> carb pizza. And um, what a beautiful pizza right here. So anyway, Frankie's going to carry that out. And if you could bring me the other one, Frankie, that would be great. So why he's doing that, um, yes, please. So while he's doing that, I'm going to get my chicken pie ready. So I need more flour. I hope everyone's doing great. I hope you're making nice plans for the um, 4th of July. Can you guys see everything? So I'm going to use half of that. Should I or should I just go for the big pie? I'm going to go for the big pie because that's the last of my dough. Okay, guys. So if you've never had um, barbecue chicken before um, on pizza, I know when you buy it, it's um, so good. Gosh, it's so good. At this point, you can put anything on your pizza. You want onion, bell pepper, anything in the world that you want on your pizza. It's, it's your pizza. Make it any way you want it. This is going to be a, a big boy. Where do I put it? Put it right here, honey. 400 degrees. Put it right there. Careful. Thanks, honey. So don't mind your... Ooh, that is hot. Don't mind your splatters of, you could scrape all you want. Um, you're never gonna get those stains off of a real stone. You're not supposed to wet it, that's why. It... Yeah. That sucker was hot. Sorry, Frankie. That's good. More cornmeal on this one? Um, a little bit, please. As soon as that's, I put that dough on, it's gonna start cooking it. It's gonna start baking it because the pan's already hot. I'm gonna to try to stretch this one out as far as I can to um, fit that baking pan. Girls, just so you know, from, from a friend to a friend, I had gone to Macy's yesterday because I had, I had a pot and a, uh, I have a pot and pan set that's guaranteed for life. So, um, Anyway, it buckled on me underneath, so I brought it back to um, Macy's, and they gave me a brand new one. So, anyway, because it's warranted for life. This is a, a chicken that I, it's a, let me see. Hmm. Rotisserie. Maybe it's a, yeah, it's, I think it's a, f not a full breast. Did I use, no. Yeah, you used to. So maybe, maybe one whole side of the breast on the um, oven roaster. And uh, maybe a quarter, so maybe 75% of the breast that I used um, because I had to give some to the dogs. So I want to use a little bit of barbecue. I want to use sweet rays. You could use um, buffalo too. Frankie, grab that buffalo one in the refrigerator so they could see it. So you want to take a little bit of buffalo sauce. Yeah, thanks, Frankie. Franks, of course. Okay, you can use, yeah, you can use the buffalo sauce too. But Baby Ray's is pretty, pretty awesome. So that's barbecue and just roll it out. Bring it all the way. You don't want to oversaturate it because the pizza becomes real wet. Okay, so I put some in my chicken. Give that a toss. And then just sprinkle it around. Can that camera see me, Frankie? Yeah, you're good. It smells really good. It tastes even better. It's like... 
so good it's insane really ridiculous it's ridiculous yeah it really is it really is and it's so easy to make it's insane yeah i mean heck you can buy one of those chickens at a store like we did and just make some barbecue sauce in it stick it on some dough so if even even if you have leftover chicken you know um shred it up put it in a freezer bag and freeze it for your when you're ready to make your um you know, you could reuse that chicken as long as it's frozen and thawed out. So at this point, I'm going to yeah, spread it out a little bit more. <laughs> Sadie knows the chicken over here. <laughs> I know, I hear her. Let me wash my hands. Let me start putting some cheese on it. Yeah. Frankie's right, gonna put some mozzarella on there. Real messy, like you put it on the pan for heaven's sakes. <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing. Want me to get the uh, big spatula? Yeah, that'd be great. Here, you can finish this after I get a mouthful of it. Get the metal one for me. I get so involved decorating the pizza, I forgot to put it on the stone. Happens when you get old. So, I don't want to... This is my last piece of dough. And I don't want to um, waste anything. I want to fill that pie up. It's going to be really a pain in the butt to shift over, but we'll we'll figure it out. And then we'll show you. So everything I made from the Sicilian is um, already on there. It, the um, calzone, rather. Let me put some... Uh, show them both so we can show them both. Yeah. This big dealy. And we got the wooden one. The metal one's nice and smooth for when it's hot out. Here. I'm going to use a little cornmeal to help it glide. Maybe some flour? No. She made under. Yeah, I got this side. Hang on, let me get my, let me get my thing, my jig. Give me my silver thing, babe. Okay. Oh, your scraper? Yeah. See, accidents happen. We I don't know done. what I was thinking. <laughs> Russian. Yeah, let me try something. I'm gonna put some flour on this real quick. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just... Where's your scraper at? Right there, honey. So this is going to be a... What do you call it in the kitchen? What do you call that? <laughs> blooper. Yeah, a blooper. Once the flour gets underneath it, it'll slide. There you go. You saved it. Now I'll just shimmy it when I throw it on the grill. Hold on. Let's fix that pizza a little bit. Listen, it's all going to go in your stomach. Trust you, mate. You will eat, eat it, eat, eat, eat. <laughs> Chicken fell off. A little mozzarella. Okay, now you want to slide that on there? Oh, yeah. I forgot it's in here. <laughs> already got to slide it again. You got to shimmy it. Shimmy it, honey. There you go. Yeah, we're going to have, we're gonna have a, a rolled pizza dough. <laughs> Might as well fold it in half now. <laughs> what the hell was I thinking? Sorry, guys. Hey, it goes to show you're human, too, Mom. Everyone makes mistakes. Looks good to me. Wait till that pops out of the oven. It's going to be nothing but a cheese yeah, ball. Yeah, you won't even know. All right, let me get my... Well, at least you guys know how to make a barbecued chicken pizza. <laughs> so put it on the pan first. I wasn't thinking. Sorry about that. You want to get this door for me? Yeah. Hang on, guys. I got to get that door for Frankie. It still looks good, though. We well, when the, when the dough cooks up here. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll have a good crust on it. Check that other pizza for me, okay? 
So he's gonna check the other pizza. Oh, and I don't need to leave those up there. That's super hot. So I got a little bit of ricotta left over out of all of it. No mozzarella or anything. Thanks, guys. So um, I'll probably throw that in some, um, probably in a freezer bag, actually, and freeze it for something else. But if I didn't have the egg in it or the, um, thank you, everyone. If I didn't have the egg in here or the, the fresh parsley, I could have just put it on a plate and sprinkled some sugar on it and ate it like that. So let's clean up why Frankie's getting the other one. So you can use any any barbecue sauce. Um, if you want to make homemade, that's fine. Um, so anyway, either one. This is really phenomenal. I use this a lot for, um, you know, little baby chicken wings and stuff like that for the guys. So I boil my chicken wings, then um, let it air dry, and make sure there's no water on it, and then I deep fry them or bake them, and then I put those on top. The sweet and sour is really good. I like that one. But that, the sweet and sour, it, either or you can use on your pizza. So remember, you're gonna have to have a good, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, oven roaster pizza. I don't know why I wasn't thinking of moving my dough over. Sorry about that, everybody. I've never done that before, but see what happens when you're trying to help people. It's okay, it's still gonna come out great. Food's food, don't ever freak out, oh my God, and start crying. Listen, your family loves you, and they're gonna find a way to eat that delicious food that you made, okay? So don't you worry about it. Practice makes perfect, right? So Frankie and I had made a, uh, we had a lot of fruit left over. So we decided to make a fruit, um, a fruit bowl before it all went bad. Um, because the fruit was getting, uh, starting to ripen too fast. And, um. I have to change propane tanks. Did you really? Yeah, it was out of gas. It already went back down it, to 240. Did it really? Just keep it on that pizza for me. I know, I looked at it, I'm like, why is it not cooking? And I looked underneath, the flame was down, so I tried to start it again. And I checked the tank, it was flat empty. Thanks, honey. Mm -hmm. So while he's doing that, um, I want to show you that fruit bowl I had made. So I had a lot of fruit left over. And uh, again, I didn't want it to go to waste. So I have apple in here. I have um, mango, grapes, fresh pineapple. Not from the can, fresh pineapple. As you can see, there's still a seed there. So fresh pineapple and whatever I had left over. And I didn't use any sugar on this. It's um, more of a fruit fruit bowl. I had put a little honey in it, maybe two tablespoons. And look how wonderful that is. It's so amazing. That's all you need is a little bit of honey. And you can eat it just like that. So I wanted to show that to you. I forgot to show you. And uh, instead of letting your fruit go to waste, use it. How's that, honey? How's it coming? It's good. It's heating back up. Hi, Sleeping Beauty. Hi, everyone. So I need a favor from you guys. Um, a big favor. Are you all listening to me? Okay. There's a beautiful um, lady who has um, done nothing but prayed for our family and, and fought for justice for our family. And um, I heard she's passing away from colon cancer. And um, my mom died from that. And uh, so I know the pain. And I took care of her until she died. It was uh, three years. And uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. But um, the lady's name is uh, Kathleen. 
Campbell. So um, I'm asking you all to say a, a real deep prayer for her and her family. Um, they're in despair. They're, they're devastated. Trust me when I tell you. Um, I've been there. And uh, please keep them in your prayers. Um, again, her name is Kathleen Campbell and her beautiful family. And uh, it only takes two minutes of your prayer. And it would mean a lot to me. And um, while you're saying your prayer, if you, if you would be so kind to pray for everyone on this earth and uh, pray for the souls in purgatory and in heaven. My father was 100% Italian and he always prayed for people in heaven and he would say the first and middle and last name and I'd say, Pop, why, why do you say first, middle, and last name? And um, he said, because uh, they're dead, Sandy, and they can't pray. You know, you, you know, they can't pray for themselves. You have to pray for them. And um, I never forgot that. I mean, like I said, I, I told you guys once, I'll tell you again. Um, I took care of my parents for many years. Um, my father for 19 years and... You know, the Bible says, honor your mother and your father, your days will be long. And uh, anyway, I get emotional just talking about it. But anyway, I'm up here to make you pizza and not to cry all over your shoulders. But please say a prayer for, for everyone. And again, please say a beautiful prayer for Kathleen um, Campbell. I appreciate that and her family. And pray for the world because... Um, we really need it. We really need it. And uh, one more thing for everybody, even if you're if you're a phenomenal cook, if you're if you're a phenomenal cook, you don't need to watch my show. If I make you um, happy and laugh, that's great. But this is this my show is to teach people to stretch that dollar, to make enough food to feed an army, and uh, or, or or to even have seconds. Um, I do that because I don't want to see anyone go hungry. And if you have enough food that you've got left over, go drop it over your neighbor's house. What a smile you're going to put on their face. You know, um, I do it all the time. And the joy that I get when I see them, the smile with such joy in thanking me for that beautiful dish. Um, it makes, it costs me nothing to make pizza dough. You will never go hungry. If you wanna make, um, if you're broke, I've, I've been there. And uh, make make eggs, if you got eggs and flour, make some noodles and slap a little butter in there, margarine, whatever, uh, a little chicken stock, it doesn't matter. You, you could always find something in your cupboard to feed your family. My mom always told me, if you have flour and, or pasta in your, in your cabinets, you're never going to go hungry because you can make anything into a pasta. You know, vegetables, uh, leftover whatever. I mean, whatever you got in that refrigerator, slap a little olive oil in there, some fresh garlic, and you can, you can make anything. You, you'll never go hungry. And, um, yeah, it's a lot of carbs. You know what? At least you got some fat on your body. You know, um, a little bit, a little bit of fat on your body is a little good. Um, nothing wrong with that. But um, anyway, thank you, everybody. I'm rambling on over here, and I always have so much to say. And uh, on my community wall, I I post those videos because if it if it moves my soul, I'm hoping it moves your soul. And I'd be cheating you if I didn't share God's love and his joy. And uh, I just love um, this channel that I watch. Um, it, it's absolutely amazing. And, you know, not every day that you, you find time in your busy day to pray to God or thank him for the air that you're breathing or the beautiful sunshine or the gorgeous flowers and the birds singing, your family. Um, so just, just getting a, a little scripture from, from a, another person that truly loves God, you can tell 
what a beautiful thing, really. What a beautiful thing. And um, it, it keeps me strong, you know. It keeps me strong, keeps me in the Word. And uh, if you guys saw my Bible, you would laugh because it's nothing but highlighted, written all over. I, I write in it um, little notes for myself. And I know you're not supposed to probably write in the Bible, but I ran out of sticky notes and, and uh, you know, because I, I, I really studied that the Bible and uh, and believe it or not I actually have uh, samples of hair from my entire family that I have cut and put a little prayer and I would fan the Bible and whatever my finger stopped on that page is where their piece of hair sample went with a prayer and what they meant to me in the world and, and I would close the Bible so my Bible's like this thick and um but that doesn't mean anything. I, I want you all to know I pray for all of you. I don't care if you want to keep throwing stones at me. You keep throwing those stones. I'm going to still pray for you. Why? Because hell is wicked. And I don't want to see you there. Um, anyway, I'm going off, off the pizza, so I'm sorry. But I'm a good soul, and... I'm not weak, I'm a good soul. So, let me see if Frankie's got that pizza going. How's that pizza, baby? How's that pizza? She's cooking. Oh, cooking. Manash, can you hurry up? The first one should be done already. Open it up, let me see. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to keep you guys. Sorry guys, I'm trying to keep you on so so I can see the pizza and so I don't have to do two lives, you know. Thank you everyone. Thank you for all the love and support. I I, I know um oh God. I know everything happens for a reason. And uh I don't know if it's for for me to show you that God is great. You know, for all the people say, I can't believe you're still standing. Um, I don't know. But keep your faith. A friend of mine asked me the other day, um, and she's very religious and very Catholic. And she said, Sandy, do you ever think, do you ever think sometimes that, you know, you get so lost and so, so sad and so, how can I say, uh, misplaced in the earth, you know, with your sorrow, that you start doubting that there is, there is a heaven and, uh, I answered so fast, it was like a bolt of lightning. No, absolutely not. I, I know there's a heaven. How do I know? Because I saw Jesus when I was eight. Um, God has given me visions, Jesus Christ and Holy Mother Mary, that, you know, from my family that passed away. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that my grandchildren wanted to make sure that I knew that they were safe. And it's all about love. And it only takes a few minutes to pray every day. Just say a prayer. Get to know God with all your heart. Um, I want, I want you all to be with me in God's kingdom someday. And we can make pizza together. And uh, anything you want, anything you want to make, we'll make together. And I want you to be my neighbor in God's kingdom. And what a beautiful thing that would be, huh? But anyway, I really hope to God that you all have a great weekend. And uh, I felt like I needed to come on to show you these pizzas because I don't make pizza that often. And uh, I didn't want to waste the dough. And I didn't want to uh, cheat you and not show you... Um, how easy it was to make.
you know? So you can never go hungry. Even if you just put, say you had no, no sauce or, or you had nothing. Um, gosh, if you just have dough and mozzarella, throw the mozzarella on there. There's nothing wrong with that. A little salt. You know, you want to uh, saute some garlic and olive oil, you can put that in there. You can make a little dipping sauce. Um, I get a lot of, um, um, how can I say? Um, I get, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I get a, a couple of pokes here and there from, from not from the people from Italy. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, that I do not. They're very respectful. But sometimes I feel like I get poked from um, Italian, American Italians here. And let me tell you something. I might look German, but I know my fat fingers are, are little Italian sausage fingers. And my Italian butt uh, is enough for me. I, 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 I am a, an example of my mother and my father. And um, every Italian from, from the top of the boot all the way to the bottom of the boot, everybody cooks differently. And um, my grandparents were from Rome area. And um, what my grandmother taught her sons, um, she didn't have no girls. What she taught her sons how to cook and is what they learned. It's all that, what, what you grew up with is how you learn. So my father being paralyzed and uh, uh, it took about a year and a half. He finally got to stand on one leg and balance himself. Um, it was a lot of, a lot of therapy, trust me when I tell you, but I remember him always standing in the kitchen and, and teaching me. And I took care of him for 19 years. And I loved every darn minute of it. I loved, I loved my family. And um, I was so honored to be his daughter. And so what he, he taught me is what I know. Because I learned more from him than I did, you know. Um, I guess because it was 19 years of being with my dad. But anyway, let's see how that pizza's doing. And uh, just be good to one another. Love each other. Make it the best that you can make it. And uh, pray for everyone. Pray for everyone. Please pray for everyone. Um, I appreciate all the prayers that you've, you've all have given to me for the last three years and still do. And I want you to know I pray for every single one of you every day. How do I pray for you? Father God in heaven, bless everyone in heaven. Bless everyone on earth and have mercy in the souls in purgatory. Bless every person who has prayed faithfully for every soul on this earth. Bless them twice. Let me check my pizza. Hang on. Okay, so I made two mistakes today. You ready? I put that pizza on a cold stone because I was trying to show you, so it's taking a little longer. No big deal. Um, gosh, let me think. So if, if you have your pizza um, stone, the round ones they usually sell, um, I don't keep it in the oven. Like a lot of people keep it in the oven while they still bake other stuff, and uh, mine has to be out. I, I don't keep that in the oven. But make sure it's on the in the oven when you're ready to make pizza or calzone or whatever your kind of dough you're going to make. Make sure it's in that oven at 450, preheated, before you slide your pizza on that, okay, guys? Otherwise, you're going to sit and wait like I am.
But I had no plans to uh, preach to all of you today. I really didn't. I promise you I didn't. And uh, it's what I feel. And I don't know. It's just what I feel. But anyway, if you could pray for um, everyone, that would be amazing. So I want to show you while I have you on here. Let me see. Oh, thank you so much, everybody. So I really couldn't see the chat before. Do you see my parsley? It's You can hear it. Listen. It's, it's starting to dry out. You hear it? So that's my fresh parsley that I'm drying out. Let me see if I can turn you this way. Oh, it doesn't work. That's my sage that I'm drying out. And there's my um, oregano. I mean, my rosemary. Forgive me. Forgive me. Where my rosemary? And I got more sage up there. See it? Isn't that funny? So I got it on a string. I have it on the rubber band first. And then I got the string running through that to help me um, dry it out. So I have frozen herbs and I have dried out herbs. Prayer doesn't give you peace of mind. Prayer gives you faith and a connection with God. Um, God asks you in the Bible that he wants a covenant between you and him, which means kind of like a contract of, of uh, nothing but love and family. You want to be loved just like you're, you know, he loves you. So these are my, these are my, um, or, uh, God Almighty, I can't even think. All right, these are my flowers. There you go. They're doing good, though. You see that one? It's got all the buds on that. You see that? That's a lot of flowers on there. Thank you for the orchids. Thank you. Um, my brother had Alzheimer's, so I'm wondering, you know, am I going to be the next one to get it? Thank God, I hope not. I don't want to stop praying. But isn't that gorgeous? That's got all those flowers on one. Yep. Well, I could bring you out to the pizza oven. You guys want to see the pizza oven? Yeah, I made the mint ice cubes. They were delicious. Don't give up your faith. Don't you dare give up your faith. Don't make me come here and kick you in the butt. Nicely. Yes. Used mint and, and uh, water and sugar. And, uh, oh my gosh, it's so good. So I use one cube and a tall glass of um, cold water. And it gives you just the right amount of mint, you know. Great for heartburn. It's good for you. Let me bring you out to that oven. Okay, guys? I don't want to put my finger on it. Hold on. Hold on, everyone. Hello from Germany. Hello. My mother was full German. She tried to teach me. I, I don't know. I don't know because I was so confused learning Italian and that. It was totally two different worlds. So it might look burned. Ooh, that pizza door on me. So that might look, see that's a little like it's burning. Well, falling off. But there's the uh, white pie. You see it's still shaking in the center. Can you see that? There's a lot of ricotta in there, but that's almost done. Don't forget, it's going to stay wet, and I put it on too much because I'm trying to use it up. But that's my chicken pizza. Gosh, that looks good. Oh, it sticks a little bit. You're still going to eat it. It's just pizza. But that chicken one is so good. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. But anyway, I'm going to close that up so we can finish cooking us. So that's your, oh, gosh, that's hot, hot. That's your white pie, okay? 
no sauce, and that's your um, barbecue chicken. Can you guys see that without me burning my phone up? Anyway, so now you know how to make those, and you see the flame down there? It's super hot. It's was well, it was 450 when I opened the door, but if you leave it, if you leave it um, open too long, it takes the heat out. Yes, I am. I am German and I am Italian. I haven't even showed you any uh, German dishes yet, but um, I've got a little old, uh, friend that helps me. She's absolutely amazing. She's total full German, and um, her, her daughter just passed away, and I had gone to her funeral. I've known them for 30 years. Such an amazing family. And um, anyway, uh, she said she wants to get together and cook with me. So you just might go alive on that one. Wonderful, wonderful lady. But um, anyway, everyone, God bless you all and have a great 4th of July. I didn't want to cheat you on your pizza, um, what you could do with the leftover dough if you, you don't know what to do with it. Um, and again, if you got leftover chicken, um, thank you so much, honey. If you, don't, if you have leftover chicken, don't waste anything. Put it in a Ziploc seal bag, a freezer bag, and then and take all the air out and roll it right on the bag, what it is, and the date, and, and you keep it going, you know? Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Well, God bless you, and happy 4th of July, and everyone be safe, and, um, and thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> God bless you all. Thank you so much, and thank you for saying your prayers today. I really appreciate that. It meant, meant a lot to me. Well, God bless you all. Thank you so much. Have a great 4th of July. Thank you. God bless you. And, uh, and again, have a wonderful 4th of July. I think Frank's helping his dad right now. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd bring the camera over there, but they're a little busy. They're always finding something to do. But that's a good thing. I don't sit on the couch all day. But anyway, God bless you again. And thank you so much. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Happy 4th of July. And God bless the United States and the world. Amen.